Namaste. Namaste. My name is Connor Grennan. I'm the author of Little Princes. And right now we're in Simicot in uh, Humla. When I was first coming to Nepal, I had a very clear idea of what the orphanage would look like on the inside. I knew that there would be about 18 to 20 children. And I just imagined them being very quiet and maybe walking among them and consoling them because they were orphans in Nepal and maybe patting their heads. It was probably the exact opposite of that. I walked in through this blue gate, very nervous, not really knowing exactly what to expect. And next thing I know, there are 18 children between the ages of maybe four and 10, just jumping all over me and hanging from me and I, I couldn't even move. And so my first impression, I'd have to say was, uh, well, I was afraid. That's probably the best way to say it because I had no idea how I was going to survive those, those three months with the kids. The first time that I realized that the little princes were not orphans, but were in fact trafficked children, was the day one of the mothers simply came down the path into the orphanage. And we knew she was the mother right away. She looked identical to two of the boys in the home. And she told us this incredible story of how the children ended up in Kathmandu from this region where we are right now. And they essentially were taken from their parents under false pretenses by child traffickers and just abandoned in Kathmandu. And that's where you know, the founder of Little Princes found them originally. And for us, it was just, it was incredible. It turned our whole world upside down because um, all of a sudden, all these children who we thought had no families in the world, all of a sudden had families. It was a day that really changed everything for me and for us and got us more involved in this world, the lives of the children. And it led to the creation ultimately of Next Generation Nepal and our efforts to try to find the families of these children. Your father lives in Simicot, yeah? Yes, yeah. You see him sometimes? Yes. People often ask me, why me? Why did I uh, end up giving so much of myself and so much of my time to this country on the other side of the world? But I think it's just a testament to the fact that even if you volunteer just one day in your life, you get, it changes you, it changes you. You get, you get attached to something, you get to know something. It completely changed the course of my life. And the longer you do it, the more attached you get, the, the more you get to know it. Then the question of why me becomes a very simple question. Whoever was in my position would have done the exact same thing. All it takes is getting out there and uh, working with the children and volunteering in whatever capacity you can ever volunteer. And the more you give of yourself, the more you, you get in return. It sounds kind of hokey, but it's always been the case. So why me? I was the person that showed up. Namaste. 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 Namaste.